It is back, baby. Potential and confirmed summer transfers. If you do enjoy this series, smash that like button for keeping up to date with the transfer business around the world. And also, hit that subscribe button too, guys. Trying to hit 2,500 subs. Let's get into the transfer business. And the first player we've got here today is Santiago Arias. The Colombian right back from PSV is rumoured to be a shock transfer target for Chelsea in that right back position. Now, could this still happen? It has a lot of potential if it does happen. Ivanovic is not a right back. He's more suited to a centre back, in my opinion. Arias will come in. He looks like a very good deal if that one does go through. No fee or rumoured fee has been reported as of yet. Next player we've got is Mohamed Diarmi, who is reportedly very close to a deal to Newcastle. Obviously, they are probably the favourites to go straight back up out of all the clubs that were relegated last season. Mohamed Diarmi. Wow, what a big player. Uh, for Newcastle to get into the club. Didn't he want European football a couple of seasons ago? Hmm, very interesting. All the best, Mohamed. Next player we've got here is Nasir Chanli. He is looking to be a Swansea City player, maybe, in the near future, if the two clubs can agree a deal. Tottenham are a very hard club to, obviously, uh, deal with. Obviously, with Daniel Levy being a very hard bargainer. Nasir Chadley, though, very good signing for any club. If he goes to Swansea, that might open up a potential move for another player, which we'll get to very, very soon. Next player we've got is Martin Olsen. It has been reported today that he has obviously had an offer rejected from him for West Ham United of £3 million from Norwich. Very good deal if it does go through. Hopefully, West Ham will come back with an improved offer. And I'm very excited to see what the future holds for Martin Olsen. I'd love to see him at left back for West Ham while Aaron Cresswell is out injured. Next player we've got is Anderson Taliska. Now, the youngster, obviously plays for Benfica, has been linked with a move to Wolverhampton Wanderers for £20 million. What a signing that will be if it does go through. My word, he's a very good player. Um, haven't seen much of him, but from the reports that I've been getting, he is a very hot prospect and he could get his foot in, in English football, maybe get himself a move. I know it's horrible to say, but to a Premier League side in the near future. Will this one happen? Time will tell, but good to see that Wolves are aiming so high here. Next player we've got is Adnan Yanuzai, one of two players that has been linked with a move to Man, um, to Sunderland, sorry, our new manager David Moyes um, from United. So Adnan Yanuzai is a player that hasn't really proven himself or hasn't really been given the chance to prove himself at Manchester United. So a move to Sunderland could be a very good one for him. Next player we've got is Jeremy Menez. Now. It's no secret that AC Milan need funds to get some transfer business done. It's a very sad uh, position for him to be in. Obviously, a club that was obviously one of the biggest European giants only a, a decade ago. So, it's very sad, very sad. But they have accepted a deal uh, from Bordeaux to allow Jerry Menez to join the club. And that one should be confirmed in the very near future. Next player we've got is Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. He has been linked with a move to Manchester City. Now, this deal is just a rumour at the moment. Um, Pep Guardiola is interested in bringing the uh, youngster. It's only hard to believe he's still a very young player, actually. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain seems to have been around forever, but he has been linked with a move to Manchester City, and only time will tell if that one does fabricate. Another player that has been linked away from his club it is Jesse Rodriguez. He is for sale from Real Madrid. They don't want him anymore, and there's been a lot of host of Premier League clubs and a massive club coming for him in Paris Saint-Germain. Uh, new manager Unai Murray is very close and very, very interested in bringing the Spanish left midfielder into the club. And um, obviously they have to agree terms, but Real Madrid knowing them would probably want a buyback clause in that one. So we have to watch this space and what happens with that transfer. Next player we've got is one I'm absolutely gutted about. Wissam Ben Yedda has completed a transfer, a five-year deal to Sevilla. Player I want to see at West Ham. Watch this player light up the Liga. He really is a great player. He was playing in a struggling to lose side and was scoring goals for fun. Really, I'm interested to see how he does at Sevilla, but my picking is he's probably going to be one of the signings of the season. Next player we've got is Romelu Lukaku. And yes, you are seeing things right. That is a Chelsea badge next to his card. He has been linked with a £60 million move back to Chelsea. Very good deal if that does happen. Everton could be getting a lot of money for two of their players in John Stones and Romelu Lukaku. Um, again, he's a great striker and if he does join the club, it probably means Diego Costa will be going back to Atletico Madrid. 
Next player we've got now is Oscar, another player linked with Chelsea that he's linked with a move away. It is to Inter Milan. A uh, £30 million bid is being produced for the playmaker. I think it's worth a little bit more than that. Um, hopefully Oscar doesn't leave. I really do like watching him in the Barclays Premier League. He's a, a workhorse. He really does perform well. And... Um, any time we're told if Antonio Conte does actually have him in his plans. Next player we've got is Andre Ayew, the Swansea left midfielder, or the Swansea attacker, should I say, because he could be playing up front for West Ham if this deal does go through. A £20 million bid has been placed. Swansea say it hasn't. It has, according to various sources, in West Ham United. Um, if Chadley goes through, Ayew can come to West Ham. So we're hoping that Swansea and Tottenham can reach an agreement for the Belgian so the Ghanaian can come over to West Ham United and what a sign it will be. 20 million. What do you think about that price tag though? Next player we've got is Leroy Sané, a player that is a very exciting prospect, has been linked with a move to Manchester City. He's in Manchester right now actually as um, he's looked to complete a deal and Schalke have confirmed that he is in Manchester looking to complete a deal to the club. What a sign he will be, he will bring a lot to the table. 35 million or there about, uh, maybe even, I think there's been a reported figure of 43 and a half million too for the player. So I don't know, it's a little bit up in the air at the moment. Next player we've got is Marouane Flaney, the other Manchester United player that has been linked with a move to Sunderland under ex-boss David Moyes who he's worked with at United and at Everton. He plays very well under David Moyes, um, and I think at a, a team like Sunderland, where he's not really in the radar, not in the public eye as much, I think he'll perform very well. A uh, very good buy, and if they can get him for under under probably about eight million, I think that's a good deal. Next player we've got is Adrissa Gaye. has been linked with a move to Everton and West Ham United from Aston Villa. One there, you know, better performance in what was a miserable season last year for Villa. Um, again, it'll be a good deal for any club who gets him in, but Everton are in pole position to sign the Senegal centre midfielder. Next player we've got is Abdul Rahman Baba. Has been linked with a move to Schalke. He's having a medical there as we are recording this, and he could have completed a loan move to Schalke. What does that mean for the left-back spot for Chelsea? Time will tell. Watch this space. Johnny Evans is a part of a shock move to Arsenal for £60 million from West Brom. Will this still happen? What a crazy one. Obviously, Arsenal fans want quality players in. Is Johnny Evans the answer? Is he an underrated player? Let me know in the comment section down below. He did have a very decent Euros for a very, very good Northern Ireland side. Next player we've got is Ashley Williams, another player that has an incredible European Championships. The Welshman is linked with a £10 million move to Everton. Very good signing if they get it done. Obviously, he's 31 years of age. He is pushing the age boundary here but he brings in a lot of added experience to that Everton side, and Ronald Koeman obviously sees him as a very good player. And the last player we've got that completes the day, it is Darren Randolph, who has recently signed a new four-year deal with West Ham United. Very good for the club, very good for the fans, and I'm over the moon with that one. Darren Randolph could be in contention for a number one spot at West Ham next season. But guys, that is today's transfers. What ones do you think are the most likely to happen? Which one is the most exciting? Let me know in the comment section down below. If I missed any out, put in the comment section too. I haven't had it Paul Pogba because that has been a transfer saga that's been going on for far too long and hopefully it does come to the head very, very soon. As always, guys, have a really nice day. Like this video if you enjoy it. Subscribe if you are new around here and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.